It's a hot ticket item on most baby registries. Video baby monitors can help you peek in on a sleeping child without disturbing them. But we found out certain types of monitors could let a stranger get a look inside your child's bedroom without your approval or knowledge. You never know who might be lurking in your neighborhood and what their intentions might be. To prove that point, we brought along the summer brand baby monitor. It allows you to see your baby day and night and see your baby for peace of mind. But what I found might change all of that. Driving around West Michigan with the baby monitor turned on, it didn't take my photographer and I long to get a look into a family's life and crib. Home after home, we were able to spy on any bedroom that was using an analog video baby monitor. And I wanted to know if the parents knew who was watching. We knocked on the door of our first target. We're actually doing a story on baby monitor safety. Oh. Okay. And do you have a video baby monitor by chance? Yes, we do. Then the even bigger question. Is that by chance your crib? Uh, yes it is. The babbling was adorable blue-eyed two-and-a-half-year-old Peyton and one-and-a-half-year-old sister Bryn. We just put it back in the oldest because she's crawling out of the crib now. Lisa invited us into her home and showed us the camera in Peyton's room and the monitor in the other. It shows exactly what we saw from our Jeep. Yeah, that would definitely concern me knowing that someone can see my kids in their room. On to the next neighborhood. We quickly got another look inside a West Michigan home. This time we found the child inside the crib. Is that your baby's room by chance? Yep. Little Aubrey was just waking up from her nap. That's scary because, I mean, people can tell where she is. And... The same concern prompted two moms to file suit against Summer Infant Incorporated and Toys R Us, claiming both companies failed to warn them that the signal could be picked up by another similar baby monitor. Just recently, both companies agreed to settle the suit, and in a statement to Fox 17, Summer Infant said all analog video monitors now come with a warning on the packaging and the monitor itself, stating the signal can be viewed outside consumers' homes on other baby monitors. We got a notification that there was a lawsuit happening. Carly and Lisa told me they both got a letter asking them to join the lawsuit, but both moms thought nothing of it and didn't realize the potential danger they had in their home. So what can you do to protect your family? I turned to extra Jim Salzweedle with Mid-State Security, who says the biggest thing to remember is to buy digital, not analog. It's like getting on your home computer. You need a password to be able to get log in to your home computer. Uh, same way with your wireless network at home, you need a password. Well, that's what the difference between the digital is going to do and the analog that you see on, on the baby monitor that you guys have been showing. That doesn't require any, any password, any special uh, routing so that you can view it. It's just if I can see it, anybody else that has a receiver can see it in the same realm. And beyond watching and hearing baby, think of what else is said between your home's walls. And that would be a concern to me too, that somebody knows that, hey, they're going to be gone for two hours, come back during that time frame and enjoy themselves to your, your property and valuables. Keep in mind, digital monitors are more expensive, costing a few hundred dollars, but it may help protect some of your most priceless possessions. Summer Infant tells Fox 17, and I'm quoting, we believe the benefits of using a video monitor far outweigh the purported risks in the digital age. We are building more video monitors that provide a secure and private transmission, and with digital technology, the issue of interference is no longer a concern. So what do you do if you already have an analog video baby monitor? If you can't buy a new digital one, Jim suggests you turn it off when it's not in use by making sure you turn off both the monitor rather and the camera. Another great way to monitor your baby, home and family is by using an IP solution camera. Jim says it hooks right up to your home computer, requires a password and allows you the ability to live stream video from your home and you can replay recorded video. Some of these can even connect to your home, Jim says, and this system runs about $360. Leanne Town, Fox 17 News.